Greetings Minecrafters and welcome to another hopefully interesting discussion today on uh, another Minecraft discussion We're about all things well-being and becoming the boss of your brain uh, My name is Kimberly Quinn with an itch. There we go and uh, So we're gonna do the fourth ACOA part today part four and then maybe we'll take a little break and do something different and come back to it because it is intense the thing is it's important because a rather large percentage of, at least of the United States anyway, has adults walking around out there feeling different. That's because we are. You know, we grew up with a, not really knowing what normal was and we grew up in an entirely different environment. And so it's super important to have this discussion because there are certain traits that ACOAs or adult children of alcoholics take on. And, um, and, and that's it. So we're going to talk. So today we're going to talk about um, kind of what's sort of is going to stem out of the last one, which was role reversal. And a lot of us have experienced that. That's what, of course, when the child takes on part of the parental role, which can be actually cooking or it can be emotional being. That was more the deal um, for me. But uh, <clears throat> so the constant we we tend to uh, end up seeking lots of approval sort of consistently and, and, and affirmation, like, tell me I'm a good person. Tell me you're not saying that in our heads maybe, but, you know, validation for being worthy, validation for being, you know, sort of allowed to walk on the planet. It, it, it makes really great sense because if you think about it, kids, all kids, from non-addicted homes, addicted homes, neurotypical, non-neurotypical, whatever, uh, we all learn about ourselves from mirroring. That's how it goes. And those who are the most important to us on our inner circle, usually the parents, are how we learn about ourselves and how we learn to feel good about ourselves. I'm actually out in my front yard today. Um, so you might have a little bit of that sloshy stuff going by. Anyway, this is how we learn about ourselves is with the mirroring and how we learn what love is, how we learn that we're valuable and worthy and unique and wonderful beings. And so that's gonna take a different spin when we grow up in a home, an addicted home, or, or not necessarily so, but where there's a lot of shame. Because remember, we talked about it. Shame is the most ex is the most toxic emotion a human being can experience because it means it's it's those feelings of feeling of of being flawed and defective and damaged and damaged goods and broken. And so, when a when a little baby enters into that, the grown ups um, are also coming. You know, they're coming from a they're coming from a place of of brokenness and we've all got some brokenness and we're not talking about perfect anything like that intense shame though is is super super toxic and so often not always the child's mirroring of themselves is really distorted and often often not always children learn that they have to work for love they have to work for the good stuff and this is why we, we you know we grow up into adults constantly seeking approval and affirmation you know tell me I'm a good person tell me I'm a good good person was that okay so this is also why we often adult children of alcoholics often become either like super over the top responsible or they throw in the towel when nothing matters and they're not and then they just they're not responsible at all that also comes out of, of out of this and also adult children of alcoholics are, also, are often really confused and I'll tell you that was definitely the case with me because, and this is again why I wanted to bring this whole conversation up um, is, is because stereotypically things are often just, you know, very extreme and that's also obviously very hard. Um, but hearing from somebody who just came from like this regular existence in a three bedroom ranch, you know, when it looked, you know, from the outside looking in, it looked like, oh, there, there go the Quins to a, you know, whatever. You know, New York City for the day, or you know, they don't they have it, you know, and it, it was such a mix because it looked like that from the outside looking in, when there was it was hell behind closed doors a lot, and this is what's so confusing, because there were some good times. I mean, my my dad coached my baseball team. I I, I was I was good at sports, and he definitely encouraged that. And my and probably my number one best memory of my dad is skiing. I have a love of skiing because he started that. He would take me skiing and, um, and I learned to love it and now all five of our kids ski and, and, and so there's the good stuff but then there's the mixed in, he was an abusive drunk. I mean he was. 
you know, he really was. And it was just, it can be very confusing for a child. Like, do you love me today? Or do you, are you gonna hit me today? Or do you love me today? Or are you gonna say horrible, mean, you know, because when he got drunk, he, when he got drunk, he could be really, really over the top, mean, scathing, a bully, honestly. And then of course there was the physical abuse, which, it, you know, that in and of itself, um, remember, I'm not talking about blaming here. I'm explaining just like a very Wayne Dyer. Don't complain. Don't explain way past that. The idea is, is I'm, tr is I'm really truly just trying to help channel value because I, I know what it's like to not feel that that is what my mission is that's it it's very genuine um and that said I, I just was so confused as a kid because we'd have close moments on the chairlift you know and have these nice discussions and then I get a whap in the head or thrown into a wall and it, as you know is when I was 16 I was actually he actually picked me up and threw me head first into a solid wood dresser so it's confusing you know, and then, then, then there was all the baseball memories and going out for ice cream. It's just so screwed up. And then there's, you know, the part of, um, you know, the, all the enabling. It was just so twisted in an addicted home. There's all the enabling energy going on because uh, my mother had some severe mental health issues. And, and there, was, there was all kinds of dynamics around that that just did not protect the kids at all. And it's just very, very confusing. So that's the point. So when we grow up and become adults... We're confused as far as what love is. We feel like we definitely feel like we have to earn it. No question. You know, that which I told you I be, you know, sort of became and was groomed to be a human doing because I felt like I had to work for it. Just I had to work for people to like me. I, I had to work even to for even for my own self to feel like a good person. I had to I felt like I just had to constantly be be doing good things. And obviously it's important to do good things. Though when you're getting your self worth out of there, that's a, that's about something different, and uh, and I and, and the, just the mirroring that went on. So you know the good part, it all came out really, really, really well, and it can come out really well for anyone when you do the work and you surround yourself with good people, and you just work it at kind of putting a lot of that back as an adult and learning, you know, working yourself through being enough as you are. And being worthy of love just as you are without doing a thing, you know, without doing a thing, you are enough. And boy, when you come into that place as an adult, it's really, really meaningful. It's really meaningful. And I think the contrast of not feeling valued to feeling valued may in some ways be more meaningful. In some ways, I don't know because I don't know what the other way around. Um, but wow, you know, just the, the love and kindness that was poured into me from so many good people is, you know, absolutely you know the reason that i'm here today um hope you know being able to hopefully channel value to other people because that is the idea okay so that's pretty much it it's all about the acoa being confused seeking approval and affirmation and then uh you know uh, hopefully doing the work and seeking out you know the, the the good people and the mirroring and the and then the mirroring of your own value to yourself as a grown-up all right, this is Kimberly Quinn signing off from the gorgeous northern Vermont. Have a mindful, very valuable day.